Okay, we are trying to solve this um, rational, or sorry, radical equation. And whenever you're solving a radical equation, you want the radical part to be isolated. So let's add 3 to both sides. And we get the square root of 6x plus 18 is equal to x plus 3. So now if we square both sides to get rid of the radical, uh, we're going to get 6x plus 18 on the left, and that's going to equal, if we square out x plus 3, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Since we're looking at a quadratic here, we want to set one side equal to 0, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6x over and subtract 18. So I get 0 on the left, and on the right I get x squared minus 9. Well, x squared minus 9 factors to be x plus 3 and x minus 3. So if you set each one of those equal to 0, and you set x plus 3 equal to 0, you get x is equal to negative 3. And x minus 3 equal to 0, you get x equals 3. But now we have to check, do both of those actually work? Um, so here's the check part. Let's try x equals negative 3. Alright, so it's going to be plugging it back in. We get 6 times negative 3 plus 18. Does that equal negative 3 plus 3? Well, I get negative 18 plus 18, which is 0, and the right side is also 0, so yes, that one works. Let's try, um, x equals positive 3. So it's going to be the square root of 6 times 3 plus 18 minus 3 equals positive 3. I guess in the first one I was using, when I did the first check I used uh, the slightly modified a version of the equation, but remember as long as you do the same thing to both sides, it's still the same equation. Um, but generally you want to go back to the original one that you started with. So here I'm going to get the square root of 18 plus 18, which is 36, minus 3, does that equal 3? Well, this is going to be 6 minus 3, and 6 minus 3 is 3, so yes, they both work.